Well, we're going to talk about the three-year-olds. A uh, little sticky situation. Some of these horses are going to need uh, trainer changes. So I don't know. I have to apply. It's not the way it used to be in the old days. I have to apply on the AGCO website to change some of these horses. So um, for now, some of the horses that um, we're training back won't need trainer changes. We'll just move them over to other barns. But horses that are close to racing will. So, Adrenaline Rush. Um, I don't know which barn he's going to be going to. Either Michael or Jason's or Harry's or Johnny's. I'm not going to give you trainer changes today. I will this week. Just give me a few days, all right? Still, this is obviously a very fluid situation for me on a number of counts. Adrenaline Rush uh, trained in 2-5, so he's pretty well ready to go. Barbie's crown raced terrible last night. Scoper again, a little bit of blood, a little bit of mucus. I just got off the phone with Steve, my partner on Barbie's crown. And I told him, I said, you know... This filly trained really, really good on Tuesday and then come up with a poor performance on Saturday. I'm not very happy about it. Uh, I need I need to see a little more grit, a little more dirt in this filly, and uh, I haven't seen it yet. So her next two starts are going to be very, very important for her. If she wants to stay playing here at the stable.ca. So um, Barbie's crown, uh, poor performance on Saturday evening. Um, what else do we have? Better's Hope, 2-5 also. Look pretty good. A little rolly, running in pretty good. Uh, maybe needs a little vet work done, but I think all in all, he's ready to go. Uh, Blue Monk is racing tonight now. A lot of people asked, is he scratched? No, the two horses that uh, ended up returning the positive certificates uh, from Kevin. Uh, this will be Kevin's last start for us at the stable.c ever. And it is tonight with, uh, tonight with Blue Monk. So I wish the owners of Blue Monk good luck in that endeavor um he'll need to change barns we're going to probably have a very frank conversation of what that will look like moving forward uh braymar will race i entered him into race now i know a lot of our clients there's an easy argument to make for requalifying for racing here's my take if we want to be able to race him where he's going to have to race and he needs to be in racing shape going out and going you know a qualifier where you leave the gate settle in sit to the head of the lane and sprint home is not a real race. So I want to put him in a racing situation. Blue uh, Bramer will be racing this Thursday. Brilliant Corners is getting very close to being ready to go. Everybody's on target, on target to be where they're supposed to be. Harry's got this guy looking good and looks really good. Broadway Roll, a horse that will need a trainer change coming up. I'll be addressing that tonight. There are seven horses in total that will need trainer changes. Um, I'll be making submissions for them tonight. Can't muscle me. Um, can't muscle me. Made a break in the qualifier. I think it's just a, a. I think she was angry. To be honest, we had a snake court on her. Harry wants to try a mini bit on her. That's fine. Now that I know where her one weak area is going into that turn, fine. We'll just let her coast in a little easier to that area. Um, cut the line. Qualified to her qualifier was good. Better than it showed. It was a horrible day. Real windy. Two two last quarter and twenty eight. I'm going to race her in the maiden. Mario, we want to put her in the maiden on Thursday evening. I'm going to drive her, see if we can go to good line. This won't change the trajectory of what we're doing with her. She will be sold in the near future. But interested to see what Thursday is going to, what's going to take place on Thursday. Uh, first glance is getting close also. He's looked good. Fox Valley Britska coming off a big win last week in Ohio. He's back in to go this week. Frilly Fringes, I talked, uh, talked to uh, Tim last night after Donatover made a break and explained that you know, the hobbles broke, which I, I couldn't believe. But the hobbles broke, and then we had to um, had to borrow a set of hobbles that didn't work. out. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The horse made a break. He's got to qualify. We talked about frilly fringes. I said, hey, just make sure the quarter crack's growing down. She's sound. Take her blood. If her blood's good, train her hard. Scope her after she trains. If she trains good, scope's good, blood's good, sound. Racer in the Maiden. Forgo this three-year-old series coming up. We got a Glare AM going over that looks like an absolute killer. And one of my heart Hanover's been racing good. Both of those fillies are, are better than Philly right now. So if she's our our own third best filly, it makes little sense in putting her in where she can race much easier in a maiden at the Meadows. Um girls will spoil your soul. You're out. Out. Gray as a new red is racing tonight, so uh, good luck to everybody racing tonight at Northfield Park. GW Chrome is racing on Wednesday. One of my personal most anticipated races of the year will be GW Chrome. Holy Chick raced great last week. She's in to go tomorrow with Hands and Night Tricks. We'll see how that plays out. Um, 
Uh, where are we at? Holy chick. And Glary M qualified like an absolute fiend the other day. She looks so, so good. James was really high on her. I'm really high on her. Really, really excited to see what she's going to put together for us. Uh, this coming Thursday, she's going to be entered, and then she will be leaving for Pennsylvania shortly after. So I'm wishing everybody with a Glary M good luck. I'm a lovely lady is going to race in the maiden this coming week at Northfield Park. A little hard to get a, a good a good feel for her line the other day. 2-3, like 31 in the mud, in with pacers. Then you look up, and I'm a lovely lady, one a mile and 2-1. I think uh, our um, mama knows best, one a mile and 2-1. I think I'm a lovely lady, just needs to put it all together. She's going to be in a maiden this week at Northfield Park. Italian Grit won the other day, looked great, looking for him to follow up. Now, he is another horse, does need a trainer change. Uh, Jazzy Judy is swimming. I haven't talked to Jimmy this week. I'll give him a call this week. She's swimming in uh, Delaware. Uh, both her and West 52nd have started back. I was going to move them back up to Northfield or uh, back to here, but I think we'll leave them there for now over the next couple of weeks. I think in two weeks' time we'll move Judy for sure back up here. I want to get a good look at her. Uh, we'll see what goes on with West 52nd. Probably built well and looks well and looks good for Harrington. So we'll see what Jimmy thinks. I'll call him this week and talk to him about West 52nd. Uh, Keystone Raven is up top in the top bar now. She'll... I want to train her. I might train her tomorrow. I might train her tomorrow and get a little feel for how she looks. And then we'll make a decision on whether she's going to qualify this week or next week. Um... You know, Kevin was working with her for a short time, and she seemed fine. Uh, I had moved her up last week before he'd ever got in trouble. He had horses that were supposed to be coming back from the state, so it's neither here nor there. She's up with us now with Johnny in the top barn. Um, Miss Meringue is back jogging now with Harry. She's another week or so of jogging. We'll start training her. Mamano's best qualified the other day. Looked great. I think, uh, I don't think... Jason knew whether he was going to requalify Mama or race her. She looks to be heading to the Hackett. Maybe our only horse heading to the Hackett, depending on how GW Chrome looks. There's another series in Northfield that races at the exact same time as the Hackett, which is going to suit a lot more of them a lot better. So I think that uh, GW Chrome will likely stay for the Iron Maiden or something, I think it's called. Um, whereas Mama Knows Best doesn't fit that class. She'll definitely go to the Hackett. We'll see about I'm, I'm a Lovely Lady also fits that because she's a maiden. So, um, no real reason to uh, not race those two in that series. The easiest path into the summer for these horses is most definitely the best one. Obviously, we'll get to My Jazz in a second. Right now, actually, My Jazz, a uh, little tie-up, a little bleeding the other day. Was the bleeding because of the tie-up? What caused the bleeding? Need to get to the bottom of a couple of things. She's obviously a little bit sick. So, we want to clean her up, dry her up, get her muscle count down. And if, if the vet and Jason decide to put her on Lasex, that's fine. I, I don't know why she'd be bleeding now, but it's been her whole two-year-old year without bleeding. So um, a little odd that that would come up now, but nevertheless, it is what it is. We'll deal with it, but it will um, it will keep her out of the hackett, I would imagine. No free lunch. Train great at Mohawk on Saturday. He'll be ready to qualify. I think he's right on track. Harry's got him right on track. First part of April, he'll be ready to go. Uh, Northern Blizzard trained in 2-8 at Mohawk on Friday. Looked very, very good doing it. I was very happy with Northern Blizzard. Perfect record. Big update here. I trained perfect record 58-4. I know you're not going to believe me. James uh, flat out called me a liar. I trained him by himself in the race bike right after he trained White Tiger. I got there, went on the track. Uh, we went on the track with Northern Blizzard 10s and tricks. We come off the track. I went on the track with Northern Blizzard. He's qualifying on Thursday. So we'll see if I'm a liar or not. Uh, Rosa and Why Not's been jogging with Harry. She's going to be in to go this week. Uh, in to go this week. What am I talking about? She's going to jog this week, train next week. I'm looking at a list of horses here. She'll be training in another week. She's on the same schedule as Miss Meringue. Um, Cyrus Blue Chip. You guys watch me train him in 2-3 in the drone uh, simulcast. Um, Saturday back Thursday. I'm not really into that. I think what we'll do is we'll train him again, maybe Friday. I'll train him in 59 at Mohawk and then come back six days. We're looking for a six-day turnaround. I don't want to train him the fastest mile of the year, two, three. Sometimes that stretches him out, right? So we're going to give Cyrus Blue Chip, I'd say next Friday, I'll train him in 59 at Mohawk and then come back on the six days again for a mile maybe in two minutes. That would be ideal, two minutes at Mohawk a week from this Thursday. We still have to make a trainer change in this horse also. Um, so admirable. 
uh, so admirable qualified under Kevin so she'll need a trainer change also we'll see what takes place there um, Stacy Hanover continues to train now sweet ambitions was good the other day uh, sweet ambitions one of my I don't know what she I gotta check her line but she trotted a pretty good last half I was impressed with sweet ambitions I think she'll do just fine in there uh, she might need a couple of starts, but she looked good in there on Saturday. Tans Night Tricks is racing Monday at Mohawk. She's coming off uh, sickness, but trained pretty good on Friday. We'll see how she bounces back on Monday. That's My Girl is training better. She's about three, four weeks away, I think, and she'll be ready to go. Tipsy and Dixie went to Mohawk on Saturday and trained really, really well. Pretty happy with uh, Tipsy and Dixie. Walk on the Moon continues to train down well. He'll be ready for first to mid part of April. Where We Welcome, uh, Where We Was Up. Is training good. We might take him up to the vet again and revisit that tendon just to make sure everything's all right. Uh, so Tuesday we have, for sure, going to the veterinarian, we have um, eyes at 10 and War We Was Up. I think that's smart. War We Welcome raced the other night. Not impressed with the way this filly's putting out and doing her work. I'm not impressed at all. But she finished third and raced. Um, we'll look for her to improve this coming week. Well and down, fourth and 57 the other day. Good start for her. Good first start for her back uh, this year. And then One My Heart Hannibal will miss this week and race first leg of that series for three-year-olds. She was in the three- and four-year-old division the last series. She's in with the three-year-olds starting this next week. Thought she looked great. Hunter tried to get her down in the pass lane. Looks like she almost run, but come up trotting. Very good mile for her. Very good drive by Hunter overall. Just got beat for second. Raced well to finish third in the mud. Very excited to see her race in the next series. So that is everybody. That is all your three-year-olds. I'll be back in a minute. We get aged horses. We got all the burns. I'll be back in just a minute.